little bit. I'm back and I still don't know how to <laughs> do an intro. So it's me, it's Jen, it's Jenna, whatever you want to call me. Some people call me Jen, some people call me, call me Jenna. So whatever you want. Yes, I have stuff on my teeth. So this is what I want to talk about. Just a little bit actually, just cause I had it on my teeth. And yes, my makeup's a mess. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, hear a story today. Oh no! Okay, we're good. My battery's gonna die though. I gotta get a, uh, sorry, the water's on. Um, I gotta get my John. All right, I'll get it in a minute when it says like, 10 percent so anyway uh this stuff i just found it fresh and bite but <laughs> fresh and bite fresh and bright i'm trying not to like run too much off um it says on the back, use twice daily or as needed. Rinse dental application with warm water prior to brushing. Hold <laughs> dental application firmly over sink. Um, where did it go? <laughs> Filled with water to help prevent breakage. If it slips from your hand, apply fresh and bright to dentures, brush or, de wait, apply fresh and bright to denture, brush or toothbrush. Brush all surfaces using brisk, firm, back and forth strokes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. All right, that's not the part I wanted to read. Oh, here it is. Not recommended for use in mouth or on removable dental, uh, rem removable dental applicators Appli appliances dental appliances a p p that word appliances i'm assuming that means these things but didn't it just say that you had to remove them to use it? Oh, wait, non removable. <laughs> All right, sorry. Little blonde moment there. But anyway, I've been doing it like this, and it's fine. And it's like, I already, this morning, I already, ooh, don't fall in the sink. I already, um, this morning did my, the little cleanse, effort and cleanse thing. This is just something extra I do like midday. Uh, <laughs> sorry, squirrel. So, oh my soul, four minutes in and what have we talked about? Nothing. So, it hasn't hurt you or anything. So, <laughs> I, just saying. Sorry, my bottoms aren't glued in, so it's a little difficult to, uh, and everything okay so the reason i came on was to tell you about what happened to me and my history with affordable dentures sorry i keep looking at myself i gotta stop doing that i need to look at the camera I can't stand when people do that. Um, so, 
my thing with okay i'm just gonna be doing my makeup because i gotta i gotta get ready for work <clears throat> this is the only time i had time to do this and um so how i even thought i was even able to do this like i never in a million years thought that i could afford to do this so anyone watching this i put off put off put off put off put off like going into a dentist because i didn't think in a million years that i would be able to get approved i didn't have the money <laughs> I barely had the money to pay my bills, let alone fix my teeth. And it was like overnight, like I moved to Jersey, or well back to Jersey, and it was just like all of a sudden my teeth started to go bad. I was just like, what's going on? Like I didn't always have like the best um, teeth in the world because, um, I of my past, my past, and I'm sure I'll get into that eventually in this channel. Um, but it's just say I didn't make the best choices in my life in the past, but my teeth were not <laughs> rotting out of my face. So, um, within the first year and a half, I had lost, I don't even know, lost or cracked, who, God knows how many. Probably almost all of them had cracks in them or a chip off of them or something. But in the end, when it started happening to the front ones, I was like, I almost didn't even want to go outside. I went outside as little as possible. Like I did my work at night. I, um, like, yeah, I went to church because I felt comfortable with my church family, but that was on Sunday morning only. And, um, that was it. I did not go anywhere else. And so with my work, I didn't really have to talk like all that much. So, um, you know, I live with the, my parents currently just because they're getting older and it's just easier for me to be able to help them with the house and take care of everything and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So all I, all I do, cause I have to do that is um, I do like DoorDash, Grubhub, blah, 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 blah. So I can pay, you know, for the mortgage and my other bills and this and that. So <laughs> it actually pays it off, which is great, you know. But the point of me saying that is I was doing one of those things. And I'm in the grocery store and uh, I'm in a line, right? I'm in a line at a grocery store. And this lady, I'm sorry. So, you know, at grocery stores, any of you that know like Acme's, right? So, Acme. Um... They'll have like one section <laughs> over here and then like a big aisle thing, right? Or not aisle, but island. And then another section of 
self-checkouts. Look at the camera, Jen. Look at the camera of checkouts. Well, it was late at night, like I said. So I was, they had, someone was checking out over on this side, like one person. And then the other side was open, which always is late at night. And then, so there was one line as always and then we do 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 as always like little freaking soldiers right like you're supposed to <laughs> so i see the guy on this side walk out what do you think i do right do 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 Oh, it's closed. Never mind. I turn back around. Do, 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 do. I go to get back in line. Well, the woman that was behind me has the nerve. Now, this line was like decently long, right? She has the nerve to say, you ain't cutting me. I said, excuse me? I said, lady, I'm standing in front of you for the past, like, I don't even know, five or more minutes. You're going to tell me that I'm cutting you. You know I was standing here. And she said, I don't care. She said, you went over there. Therefore, you got out of line. Now, you can comment below and tell me if you think that I was right or she was right. Because she knows I said, oh, that one's not open? Okay. Like, I literally took five steps because the guy was like, that's closed. I'm like, oh, okay. So, it was like, it was this motion. Ready? Ready? It was... Oh, wait, you can't see me. Shit. It literally was five steps. <sighs> and, um, please remember, we're like single file at the island. Like, this is the island. I'm sorry. I have anxiety issues. I gotta let my heart like ooh, Jenna. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So she is adamant on me not getting in back in line. So I said well, you're going to have to drag me to the back of the line because I ain't getting in the back of the line. And so it just went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I mean, it was like, it was <laughs> over a spot. And at that point, it wasn't even over the spot. It wasn't over the spot. It was about pure, just disrespectful, like, just nasty, behavioral, you're a sick human being at this point. Like, you're just, you're just a nasty person. You are, I hope you're watching this. I hope you're watching this and you'll know why I did that in a second. So the manager, so I get in front of her, you know, I got in front of her. So, I mean, I pushed her car out of the way. I was like, oh no, because I didn't even have a car. I had like three things and three things in my arm. Three. She had a freaking grocery cart full of crap. Did I add that into the story? Okay. 
insert that into the story. Three things in my hand and she had a grocery cart full of stuff and she could not let me get back in line. Get back in line. No, I, that was my spot. I'm sorry. And so, sorry, I'm getting so heated up like this. There's a point to me getting so heated up over this. So the freaking manager comes over, right? And he says, like, what's going on here? And he says, she says, well, this crack addict B cut in line. And I was like, at that point, I was, I was just like, and he looked at me and she said, she shouldn't even be in the store. She's in the back smoking crack. Look at her teeth. And if I wasn't working and I wasn't, first of all, the person that I am, I would have ran out of that store, like ran out of that store. Sorry, I hate crying. And I just looked at her and I was just like, you know, I am like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. And obviously like the tears are like welling up in my eyes and I'm just like turned my head and I'm like gathering myself while the manager and her are kind of arguing. And I look back at her and I was like, first of all, you know, that's not true. I said, second of all, I stand my ground on the fact that you are a disgusting human being. And I said, you must not have any mirrors in your house because if you looked in the mirror, you would not be happy with the person that you saw for many reasons. And so she, um, I don't know if I added that last part, <laughs> but that would have been funny. But no, I said you would not be happy with the person that you saw. And so that was that. So at that point, the people in the line were just in awe. And at this point, there were tons of lanes open because nobody was checking out because everybody's watching this drama unfold and the manager was just like you go over there you stay here and I'm like laughing in my soul because I got the one we were at and yes I'm being petty right now and I was being petty then and I like quickly run my stuff out because I'm so Still, like I'm, I'm in the middle of having a panic attack over what's going on. And, um, like I suffer from panic attacks and, uh, So I had to like stop for a second and just. So I finished ringing out and I just walked out and I, and I just lost it. I lost it walking to the car. And I would have ran to the car, but I just, I think my legs would have given out. So I just like, power walks to the car and I got in and 
my car was right in the front and I didn't want her to see me. I did not want her to see that she broke me. So I started my car and I went to the back of the parking lot and I just, I just broke down. I don't know how long I was sitting there. I feel bad for the people that I was delivering that order to. It eventually got, it eventually got ordered, but, um, I just, uh. <laughs> oh, when you don't want to cry, just laugh. Got it. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup, these guys. Seriously. All right. I'm going to start doing my makeup so I don't cry. Uh, and I called my mom. Of course, why don't we all call our moms if we have them. And if you have your mom in your life still, and if she's still with you, make sure you don't take that for granted. And your dad. Thankfully, like I'm 38 years old. And thankfully, I have realized that and I have, and I don't take that for granted. And I cherish every single day I have with them. So anyway, I call my mother and I ain't no makeup artist. So all you makeup artists out there, you don't need to critique me. I mean, you can, I don't care. Give me all the tips you want. Because <laughs> I suck at makeup. Um, I call my mom after I like gather myself and I was just like, that's it. I said, I need, we need to get my teeth done. We need to get my teeth done. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, but we need to go. We need to at least go. Because she kept hounding me to go to a dentist. And I didn't want to go and, and see everything and talk to someone and, and get all excited about it. And then have nothing. Like not be able to get it done. Because I did that with um, plastic surgery for when I needed to fix my arms. for um, Because... That's the one problem I had was loose skin from my uh, gastric bypass. It's the one problem area that I just, I can't accept. I have a few other areas that I really don't care about. I'll live with them for the rest of my life, but my arms really bother me. And, uh... So, I went to the plastic surgeon. I got everything, like, done, done. And my insurance, I was told my insurance would pay for it. And everything is set up. And then, boom, my insurance is like, nope. So, yeah. I wasn't about to go to the dentist. And see everything and get all excited and you know have me not be able to get my teeth done so I was like let's just go let's just go and see what they have to say um you know my friend Angel had gotten hers done and she had you know told me a little bit about the cost and you know how you could keep it down some and I was like okay well y you know I could save that much in a short period of time so maybe but my problem was the extractions the extractions were just like 
because I had so many that were broken off at the at the um, gum. So, as we know, those are the ones that they make you freaking like really pay for. And uh, so, I love the word so. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. Where are you, brush? Where are you, brush? Here you are. Bobby. Oh, let me grab my drink. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That didn't sound good. I'm, I'm like C-O-M-I-N-G coming. I can spell regardless of what you thought in the beginning of the video. This whole clip right here just looks so bad. They're gonna like mark this explicit. Where's the... Oh. <laughs> I lose everything. I swear I have a ghost in my house. Like, I am constantly like, where is my blah, blah, blah? Where is my blah, blah, blah? Like, you see how tiny this, my little powder room is? I lose everything in here. It's insane. And everything's got its place. Like, I've got super bad OCD. So the fact that I lose things in here, I've got a ghost. And I don't even believe in ghosts. y'all so anyway where was I so she's like all right great bet let's go let's go now when I put my mind to something that's it I'm going I'm doing it and if I can do it I'm getting it done and I'm getting it done quick so I did not do any research none zero zip zilch i didn't watch any videos i didn't like look into different dentists i didn't no i did none of that i googled yes googled dentistries and the first one said I needed to pay for the consultation. The second one, which was Affordable Dentures, said I didn't. It was like a special they were running. So I was like, great, yay. <sighs> Had to call that week, right? Because I should be in. Like, my gums are good. My gums are good to go. I could get my perms right... Perms. My perms. My permanents right now. But, um, I just... I don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. At this point, I thought that I was going to go to my dentist. And he was going to give me my permanents. So, what now? See, I just lost something for a second that should be up here. <laughs> um, ow. But that's not what I mean about lost. Like, I... Oh, no! 10%. I, I almost grabbed that cord, too. When I was out running around for my brush. Okay, so anyway, this freaking video is getting ridiculously long. I hope, like, I don't know anything about these videos, either. Like, see? This is what I'm talking about. I decide to do something. I do new, no research about it. 
and I just do it and I throw it online in this in this instance or oh, and then in the instance of my teeth I just look it up and just do it I do it I do it I do it and my last video seems like a lot of people watched it so maybe other people want to watch to see what happened with uh, my story maybe not and if not okay I just talked to myself for well 30 minutes at this point and I'm sure it'll be a lot longer at, at one point whoops I didn't bend so uh this this was supposed to be a story about the entire thing this is only really a story about the lead up to it so I guess I'll make another video about the story this is just kind of the the lead up to what happened what happened was oh my gosh Jenna. freaking freaking I, I get like lost once my brain goes somewhere else like I'm I'm lost in that all right so They had a free one. So me and my mom went the next day. Now it was the the affordable dentures in Vineland did not have a free consultation. It was like 75 bucks. But the one in me and the one in Vineland's like five minutes down the road from me. But the one in me's landing, it's down by the shore. Uh, I think it's like a 35 minute drive, which is, and it's, it's not a regular 35 minute drive. You ever have them drives where it's the same amount of minutes as like a drive that like you don't mind that maybe you take all the time, but this drive for some reason is just the most annoying 35 minute drive of your entire life or however many minute drive i've I, like yeah for me it's going to May's landing it's such a short drive but i want to blow you know what like I want to, you know what? <laughs> so, mm. so annoying. But when I drive to AC, I'm fine. And that's a longer trip. I'm doing my makeup in here now. Okay. So, back to what I was talking about. So, we go to Maze Landing, right? I talked to this lady. She gives, like, gives me this whole big, this is what you could do. This is what you'd look like. This is what you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just sitting there. And I actually, I took what I, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh your ass off. Okay. So, I take water pills, right? And then I also take Ativan. <laughs> I take Ativan if I'm like having a panic attack. Well, they're both by my bed. Like I just keep them by my bed. So I was in a hurry that morning and my legs were like so swollen for some reason and I so my mom's like rushing me because she's miss I have to be on time or early lady and so I'm like hold on let me take these before we go you know even that that was the stupidest idea in the world anyway why would I do that so I can pee the entire time however they look exactly alike I mean, like, exactly. It's insane how, how alike they look. So, I thought I grabbed the right bottle. Well, 
I did not. And I take two water pills. And I usually only take one at a dan. So I take these two pills and I I was driving. So it usually takes about 20 minutes to kick in. Maybe 25. So it's like a 30 minute it's like a 30 minute drive. Well, right at the end of that freaking drive, we stop at like a Wawa and it's you know, I don't know, five or so minutes from the place. Well, I am so tired. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. No crap, Jen. I'm like, Mom, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I am so tired. She's like, you're slurring your words. You're doing this. You're doing that. I'm like, well, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She's like, well, did you take an Ativan? I'm like, were you, um... Well, it's actually, it's a lorazepam. So, anyone that wants to, is comparing the looks of them. Um, and I was like, I said, no. And uh, then it hit me. I was like, I said, oh crap, mom. She said, what? I said, I thought I took two water pills. I said, what if I grabbed two out of the lorazepam? And she was like, Jenna. She calls me Jen. She was like, Jen. And I'm like, I don't know if I did. I'm like, but what if I did? Why am I so tired? I'm like falling asleep. So <laughs> So in this chair, right, this lady's showing me all this stuff and I'm half asleep, right? And on this stuff, I am just like, I barely remember this visit, like barely. I remember them taking the, the shot of, of them, the x-ray. And then I remember them, me being in the chair and having a 30 second conversation with the lady where I was like trying to swindle her down because <laughs> I'm a salesman. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and then I remember picking out the color teeth that I wanted. And her telling me, well, people think that they want that color, but it really looks best when they have this color. And I said, well, I want the other color. I am a tan white girl so I think I can pull them off look and you can see so the other dentist I'll uh, fast forward just for a second they gave me two different colors and I actually have I think lightened those a tad. I've been trying to at least. I don't know if it works. Seems like it has just just the hair. But anyway. Because apparently you can lighten them. <laughs> or you can bleach them. That'll come later too. Uh, the the guy who makes these things told me, accused me of bleaching my my teeth. I lost my other bottoms. I'm so upset. I'm so good with things. I don't know what I did. You know what I think I did? I think my mother threw them out. I hope she don't watch this. She freaking moves all my stuff. And I think I had placed them 
somewhere and she threw them out because of where I placed them. I don't think she did it on purpose. But, anywho. <laughs> I love her anyway. I got other bottoms, so it's it's okay. They're on me. But they're not my permit, so. <sighs> so, uh, going back. Maze Landing. So, she told me how much it was and I was like all right whatever she said she can't give me any lower okay whatever and then I remember her saying okay well you can get a loan I was like and then I snapped out of it snapped out of whatever fog I was in and then I said, I have the crappiest credit in the world. I said, there's no way. And she said, they give, um, they give loans to everybody. I said, lady, my credit, my credit was stolen. My whatever was stolen. I said, so it's like in the gutter, gutter, gutter. And she said, it's okay. They'll credit you up to $5,000. I said, well, that's not enough to cover what you just told me this whole amount was going to be. And, you know, my mother being my mother said, well, could I do the other small amount of the loan? And the lady said, yes. I was like, oh. and the lady's telling me I could be in the chair that day. I was like, wait a second, wait a second. I did not just walk into this place and they're telling me I can go get my teeth done right now. Like that's, this isn't happening right now, right? Like I, so I'm in a fog and I'm like in still in La La Land and I'm still not really understanding like what's freaking going on. And then, so we applied for the loans and the only issue was that I needed like a thousand dollars down or something like that. So I was like, well, just, this was a Friday. I said, just give me till Monday. So she said, okay. I said, so if I call in on Monday, can I like, either come in later that day on Monday or can I come in on Tuesday and get them done? And she said, absolutely were her words. Absolutely. That was like April 1st-ish. So I, now you have to remember, like I got all excited. I thought I was going in to get them done. I'm still reeling, cause it had happened just the day before from that lady calling me a crack addict and telling like, 20 people that I was smoking crack in the back of a store, which by, I'm sorry, was totally, um, not true. I've never touched crack a day in my life. Other things, yes, I will admit to that, which is why some of my teeth were bad. They were the ones in the back, but those were pulled a long, long time ago. Um, but it was the furthest thing from crack, not even Coke. So I wasn't into the uppers. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I just, I, I didn't think that going back to this place would 
get me like this. Um, sorry. If anyone wants to know what having or starting to go into a panic attack looks like. This is it. I'm trying really hard not to. Okay. All right, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right, you're okay. You're fine, just keep talking, just keep talking, just keep talking, 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 talking. You guys had them taquitos from freaking Taco Bell? <laughs> Those things aren't good. My mom don't like them, but she's freaking nuts. She's like, they're too freaking corn for it. I said, well, you're corny. I said they're freaking amazing. So, I feel like my, are, are my bottom teeth clicking? If they are, I'm sorry. I should have glued them down. I should just do that now. All right, anyway, where was I? So these these people, right? I call back on Monday. The girl says, okay, now this is like April 2nd, I think, somewhere 2nd, 3rd, somewhere now. She says, okay, I'm going to schedule you for April 18th. I said, what? I said, wait a second. I said, April 18th? And they, they had taken the molds from my mouth already. They took the effing molds for my mouth. So do you know how excited I was about this? I need to glue these things down. Yeah. I said the 18th. I said, what are you talking about? I said, I was told that I would have my surgery, my, my teeth done either today or tomorrow. And she said, oh no, no, no. She said, you have to wait at least two weeks from the time you get the molds. I said, lady, I said, you think I was born yesterday? I said, what would have happened if I had had that $1,000 on, on Friday? Would you have sent me home after the molds and told me, okay, come back in two weeks? And it was silent. It was very silent for a second. And she says, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, um, telling you what my, um, what the doctor told me to tell you. I said, and you haven't been there long enough to know that people get their molds the same day that they get their teeth done. Well, every case is different. 
I say, you got to answer for everything, don't you? Mm. Mm. I said, well, they had already taken my molds when they told me that I could come back and get my dentures done today or tomorrow which was on Monday or Tuesday. Now you're telling me that I have to wait two weeks. Then she says, she told me something else. Well, the doctor is sick or something like that. The doctor is sick. He could, could be in in the next few days. Um, and I said, well, I don't like that answer either. There's not another doctor. And she said, no. I said, listen, let me talk to so-and-so, who was, was the lady that I had talked to before. And she was like, well, she, uh, let me see if she's available. And so she comes back on the line and she said, well, she said that um, she can't talk right now, but she said, well, what happened was he went on vacation today and won't be back for two weeks. That's why we have to schedule you for the 18th. I said so. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. The doctor went on vacation today. And I had just given her my payment for the $1,000. When she made that appointment. And we like finalized the loans. Oh, people. I said, you finalized these loans with me. You took my payment. And you can't tell me. Because you knew I was excited about getting these done either today or tomorrow. We had an extensive conversation about it. I said, so you mean to tell me that you didn't think that telling me, oh, the 18th wasn't going to have me go into a complete, just utter freak out on you? I don't even, think, I don't even know what the words are. And uh, she says... Well, I, I, you know, I knew you'd be upset. I said, see, you even knew I'd be upset about this. <sighs> so you guys got my money and then told me. So this was premeditated. I said, that is sick. That is sick, 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 sick. I said, I don't want you anywhere near my mouth. So do not schedule that appointment. I'm going to be calling the corporate office and I'm going to be seeing if that can be switched to any other um, affordable dentures. Sorry, my mouth was so dry. And she's like, I don't think that can be done. Because we're like a corporal. Blah, blah. I said, ma'am, stop. If it can't be done, it can't be done. I'll figure out how to get all my money back. I will not. I said, if I don't trust you because of this situation, why the heck would I trust you to put your hands in my mouth and to give me a smile that I'm going to have for the rest of my life? Why would I trust that? So, shh. 
show. I got transferred to Vineland. Come to find out in the very, very end, those two offices use the same doctor. Yeah. Oh, and BTW. Yeah, I'm old. By the way, anybody thinking about going to that office, you better have some kind of script to put yourself under because they give you Valium. They give you, like, I don't even know because I wasn't able to pick up my Valium because I was on um, my Ativan. They won't let you pick up both scripts. So, or they won't let you have both at the same time. The pharmacy won't do it. I mean, I guess they could have had it called into a different pharmacy, maybe. I don't know. But it, that was just too much at that point. So, Valium, with my past, I'm sorry. Valium wouldn't have touched me. <laughs> so... They wanted to go into my mouth just taking Valium. I don't understand how people do that. So I took like four out of van and I don't even remember walking into the office and getting in the chair. None of it. I don't remember getting home. I only remember the first three days. But I have teeth. <laughs> and I was so surprised. I'm like, I've been taking these things for like two years. Like, I used to take them. Like... Are these even going to work on me? Like, I don't take them every night, but, like, your body gets used to things. Like, like, what? What? Oh. I was freaking out. And the night before, I took one before I went to bed. So I would have it like in my system. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't overdose on that crap. Like, and that's no joke. I don't take overdosing on anything a joke. I'm serious when I say I'm surprised I didn't overdose on that stuff. Like, I don't know how much it takes to do that. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know enough about that particular medication when it comes to taking too much. I know that benzos, it's not a very high dosage when it comes to that. I don't know. Well, I'm like, rag a trail, poop. Anyway, so I'm just happy I didn't feel anything. There could be a reason I didn't feel anything, though. I'll tell you why when I tell you about my story. When I tell you about my story. Okay. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <sighs> um, I don't know how to intro in or intro out. I'm just trying to think if there was anything I wanted to say. <laughs> 